Hi guys! I am finally getting this recording out. I know I promised I would do it yesterday, which was Tuesday, the day after my colonoscopy procedure, but I just forgot. I got distracted. I was actually trying to catch up with work because I didn't really do any work on Sunday and Monday, so I had to like make up for couple of days that I missed out but I'm gonna let you guys know ahead of time this is a TMI video <laughs> and I'm gonna try to make it as short but to the point I know a lot of you guys have been asking me how my experience was doing the colonoscopy and I'm so thankful that you guys were reaching out to me and messaging me and so concerned about how I was feeling and, you know, I was like, oh my God, this person's asking me. It just really put a smile on my face and it just made me feel good, made me feel special that people were <clears throat> concerned about how everything went on Monday. <clears throat> so I'm going to go back track to why, because people were still like, why are you doing a colonoscopy? You're so young, yada, yada, yada. And trust me, if I didn't have to do it, I wouldn't do it. Nobody wants somebody poking up your booty, okay? <laughs> Especially, I had two doctors, y'all. Two doctors up that area. So, trust me, if I didn't have to do it, and I got a couple of years, a good amount of years to go, trust me, I would wait until then. But, um, my family, as I said in a couple other videos before this, prior to this one, is that I have cancer in my family that is on a rampage. From breast cancer, to colon cancer, to Hodgkin's disease, to prostate cancer, um, I think even lung cancer, I'm not even sure, but surely breast cancer and colonoscopy and prostate and stuff like that. So it is required, or my doctor suggested, that all my mom's kids get tested and since my mom passed away from colonoscopy um i had to get it done so i got it done five years ago and i had to get it done again every five years so the initial drinking of that nasty drink was fine everything was great but then i started to feel sick because it took me three and a half hours for that stuff to work before i finally went to the bathroom Yes, that freaking long. I was like, oh my God. It was such an uncomfortable feeling. And not only being hungry, being tired, you really can't sleep. You can't really get comfortable and relax because your belly is so bloated. You're so stuffed, not from food, but from that nasty crap drinking. I was just like, oh my God, that was rough. Um, but eventually I started to go. So the next morning I woke up, my appointment was at 10 o'clock, I got there at 9.15, 9.30, I got checked in, you know, went into the room, the whole works, you know, took urine, all that stuff that they do, um, and the actual procedure itself, um, they rolled me into the room, everybody was nice, the doctors was nice, the nurses were nice, everybody that took my pressure, the whole shebang, I got into the room. Um, and they put oxygen. I don't know about you guys, but that tube up my nose, like, and you just feel it air like a shh in your nose. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, this is driving me nuts. And I think everything was driving me nuts because I was hungry. You know what it is to, like, not eat? And for people that know me, I love food. And to not eat, that was the rough part. Anyway, the procedure started, I was in awake sedation, but when they went further up my colon, you know, small intestines and stuff like that, and they were going up my colon, I started to get that gassy pain. It was such a, I was like screaming, because I was up, I was seeing every everything on the monitor. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, that hurts, ow, ow, ow. Then the nurse had to press on my stomach and push and I was farting. <laughs> I was farting like crazy. Um, they found one polyp, very tiny, small, I saw it. It was like, uh, I don't even know if it, was, if it was that big. They cut that out. Um, I have a tiny little hemorrhoid. So they're like, just stay consistent with eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, drink a lot of water, keep healthy, so to speak. Um, 
because I made the mistake and had breakfast late. Remember I said I was having breakfast late? I wanted to have breakfast at 8 in the morning and I had it at 10. There was still stuff up in there. Everything didn't come out as expected. So I have to go back in a year. Um, so, but after that, when I came out of the whole procedure, I felt so sick. I didn't know if it was because I don't eat bread and rice and all that stuff to soak up the meds that they were giving me. They had to give me like three sets of that sedation stuff because I was just feeling so much pain and so much gas. Um, afterwards, I was shaky, sweating, cold sweating. Oh my God, it was such an intense non-controllable reaction I was having driving home in the cab thank God for a cab um, every food I smell I felt sick just put it this way that Monday Monday I was in so much pain and so uneasy after the fact not pain in the rear end but just the in my head kind of pain like dizziness nervousness you know like you felt drunk or you're probably high on some sick drugs and you just can't control yourself that's how I felt I've never been there but I figured that's how you would feel but overall at the end of the day a couple hours I slept for maybe three hours I finally was able to eat like after six and then I fell back asleep again and I woke up yesterday feeling so much better still tired but you know, today's a new day and, you know, I just wanted to get this out there for you guys just to share my experience. I know I'm talking for a very long time and I wanted this to be like five minutes, but it didn't work out that way. So thank you again for everybody that was interested in how I was feeling and how the procedure went. Um, oh, and this is another thing. Like if I don't use the bathroom in three days, I got to go back. To the doctor and I'm on day two of not using the bathroom yet <sighs> pray for me y'all uh, this is TMI but I need to take a shit like ASAP <laughs> oh my god wow you know but I got to do it right I have to really more than ever I have to make sure that my health comes number one nothing is gonna come in front of that you know my health is wealth as they say right when, when you don't have it is when you're like shit why didn't I take care of it so I'm doing it now I'm taking care of it I'm really focused on my clean eating and being healthy and working out and staying consistent and drinking a shit ton of water and thank God for Shakeology because that is my lifesaver if I don't if I if I, if I don't have fruits or vegetables yeah guys <laughs> I got cut off but yeah, as I was saying, thank God I have my shake, you know, and um, I'll keep you guys posted on how everything goes. Again, I have to go back in a year. I have to redo this all over again, and this time I cannot eat, like, nothing. I could probably have breakfast at 5 a.m., not 10 a.m., um, and I'll find out my official results within the next two weeks as to how the pull-up that they took out, how that looks, and my urine tests and stuff like that. So, and whatever other tests they took. So, yeah. I'll keep you guys posted on how everything goes. Thank you for watching if you were able to watch all the way to the end. And I really appreciate everybody's caring and support. So, talk to you guys soon. Bye. Peace out.